the public information and warning plans have been in place for several years. And now that the technology has improved to the point where we can leverage it, it's important that we take our existing plans and incorporate the changes that we need to based on the new technology and then subsequently exercise those plans to ensure that they're going to work when we need them to. The Washoe County Office of Emergency Management and Homeland Security is championing a state homeland security initiative to refine Nevada public warning and public information. This project's really important to all of the people of Nevada, and it's a fine-tuning of the way that all of the agencies inform the public, both through early warnings on emergencies, but also keeping them aware of what's going on as emergencies unfold and how they can react to those emergencies and better protect themselves and the community. So the fine-tuning is really critical in getting the message out to everyone in the state when there is an emergency. The Nevada Statewide Citizen Information and Warning Project outcome is the sustainment of a whole community approach to homeland security. What's really good about updating this, this particular program is that we're able to integrate newer technologies with the older technologies that already exist in supporting the systems. We're able to better spread the message throughout the entire state and the more people that we have involved in the project, the more organizations, then the better we are able to spread that message throughout the state and inform the people, wherever they are, of emergency messages. The project began with the formation of a statewide task force to guide the project with representatives from the whole community, state, local, tribal, nonprofit, and private sector. The Washoe County Emergency Manager will guide governance, and a project manager will conduct day-to-day -day coordination. A consultant will establish a comprehensive outreach plan using the most effective variety of media for protection, preparedness, response, recovery, and mitigation. One of the tools that we have developed to support this project is a, an online planning portal. Uh, this document management site uh, provides the ability for project stakeholders to upload documents such as the plan template, uh, draft plans, guidance documents. It's kind of a one-stop shop uh, for project documents and it'll be our primary method of providing drafts out to the counties. Specific equipment for warning will be procured and distributed throughout the state. Uh, it's up to cities and counties and local public safety officials to acquire the technology uh, to be able to issue warnings in common alerting protocol. So one of our first projects was acquiring the software to be able to issue messages in common alerting protocol. The next step is to enhance the current technology that we have for the emergency alerting system, things like uh, receivers such as the broadcasters have, um, the state and some local agencies can also acquire this equipment. And one of our projects is going to be to determine uh, what we need and how to distribute this. This approach includes a committee to update the statewide emergency alert system, EAS, and the Integrated Public Alert and Warning System, IPAWS, a committee to integrate social media, and a committee to refine public call taking during an emergency. What we try to bring to the class are our first-hand accounts. We want to present the real world of what goes on at these inc incidents. It's nice to talk about theory, but sometimes theory doesn't always cut it. So by bringing the real world side of these things to the class, it really enhances the perspective of what's going on and what you can learn. I generally do day-to-day -day press releases, interactions with the media, clarification, things like that, but I've never had to do an actual emergency. So that's what I was really hoping to get, was what are some of the best practices being used right now? We're able to use the more experienced PIOs to relate their success stories and the problems they've had. And for the new PIOs, it's a great opportunity to network with the guys who are doing it out in the field for years. By having this public information officer workshop in rural Nevada allows us the chance to really get updated on the new social media, the, the new warning systems that are coming out, and then therefore we can take that into our community 
uh, to help us communicate better if there is a, a disaster that could happen. When I found out that they were coming here to Elko because this is such a, a rural community, I jumped on this chance. Even though I've taken the courses online before, I, I wanted the opportunity to interact with other people, other public information officers, and it doesn't happen very often, so I'm very appreciative. I think this is going to be very beneficial to this, this community. Because Bill and I have had decades worth of experience in responding to emergencies as both law enforcement and the fire service, we are able to cover a number of actual incident case studies showing where we had problems, where we had successes, how we were able to address the problems and provide real world working solutions. This information is very, it's very valuable to us all the way around. The instructors have a lot of experience in the field doing this, where I am now, so you just can't tap into that kind of information out of a textbook. This is critical for us because uh, our civilian counterparts seldom know the capabilities that the military can bring to bear for any emergency situation. And so if we can get out, meet and greet a little bit, and actually tell our story and educate uh, my counterparts on the civilian side what, uh, what we can bring to the fight, um, then they know exactly what to ask for. And conversely, we know how to tailor our products to provide that premium support in the event of an emergency. I've been employed with Texas A&M Engineering Extension Service for approximately six years and this is the first time I teach and coordinate the Management 318 which is Department of Homeland Security and FEMA Public Information and All Hazards Incident Course. And what this is allowing us to do is to come to Nevada and we're partnering and we're teaming with one of our domestic preparedness consortium situates uh, in Honolulu, Hawaii and they're doing the social media training and we're tag teaming, we're trying to partnering where we can teach the social media course in addition with the public information all hazard incidents. So it's all used, it's tied in together. It gives Nevada an opportunity to uh, allow anyone who can deal with the media or doing the social media, it, it prepares them that much more for public information morning that they can work on and, and meet any type of crisis that face them here in Nevada. The uh, uh, NDPTC PER 300 course is uh, the only DHS and FEMA certified course on social media in the country right now. And it's a basic social media course to introduce emergency managers to social media. Uh, anything you would put in a press release or in a newsletter is great to also push out on your social media sites uh, just to keep an interest. And that's all it takes, the fact that you're in that space and ready so that whenever a disaster does occur that uh, requires uh, social media, um, a big social media presence, then you're ready to go. It's really important that all of these agencies are able to work together to get the message out to our customer, which is the public, the general public, uh, to help them understand what is going on during an emergency situation, how they can react, how they can protect their homes and their, and their, their families, and in many cases how they can volunteer and assist the community in dealing with the emergency and, and post-emergency operations. Learning about the Homeland Security investment into northern Nevada and throughout the state gives a lot of comfort to everyone knowing that we'll be able to respond quickly and the training provides us with the resources to do just that. Oh.